There we go, we are officially live. Now we... Here we go. Uh, so I want you to make your gameplay information visible to the players. No. That is a repeat. There we go. Um, I don't have online at the moment. Yeah, we'll go with Spring Breeze mode. <laughs> I've only played one of the Kirby game, so let's keep it simple, shall we? This looks cool. This is also the first ever 3D Kirby game, which is pretty cool. Oh. I'm getting, like, misshapen and stuff. Oh, is that how I can end up doing the uh, new ability that we apparently have? That would make sense. And we just show up on the island. That makes sense. <laughs> Hello, Frog. How are you doing today? Okay. Interesting. I, I like the world here. Uh, we are playing Kirby, and this is actually the... F uh, oh... The first ever 3D Kirby, like open world Kirby, so that's pretty cool. And it looks amazing. Interesting. While we're here. <laughs> no settings? Okay. Guess not. Well, what we will do... There we go. Forgot to play the music. There we go. I'm pretty good. Yeah. Just very tired. How are you doing today? Well, I'm also pretty tired, not gonna lie. But, you know, haven't streamed all week, and I probably won't be able to stream at all next week because. Oh, there's like graduation and stuff for a bunch of people. I'm not graduating, of course, but. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've got multiple family members who are. <laughs> yeah, the sniffles are not very, not the quietest that they could be, but they're not loud, which is something. Okay, can we just talk about this world? This world looks so cool. It, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, 
I'm Zella. All right, Zella. I'm Link. Okay, that's how I drop the ability. It does look cool. yeah. Like, this game needs more praise and love because, like, again, this is the first ever 3D Kirby. This is like Nintendo testing out whether or not this will work, you know? And it works. <laughs> Hey Rock, how are you doing today? And whoa, Rock's first. Whoa. How are you doing today, Rock? That's not the right button. Here. You. I'm a wizard. You're a wizard, Kirby. carrots, everybody. They're good for your eyesight. That's a joke. I don't like carrots. <laughs> Just, like, cover this entire area with bombs. Okay, there. I think there's a limit. No? Yeah, no, I think... I th yep. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, there's just a time limit. I'm doing alright, that's good to hear. How are you? I'm doing pretty good as well, thanks. I know this moment! From the... God, the from the... Uh, announcement of the game, they showed this, it's super cool. We eat a car. And by eat a car, I mean we become the car. Tell me that's not cool. I'm a car now. This is, this is just life. Here, buy me. Kirby. Kirby car. Make it a thing. Look at that. Kirby the car, exactly. You think they made this a uh, amiibo? They probably have, and I really want that amiibo in which case. Like, seriously. This is just awesome. And I hear that there are others. I don't know for sure. But I hear that there are others, and that's cool. If there are. Sorry, too late. Oh, 
Oh, it looks like that mushroom didn't die. It did. And now... Bam! That really did not do a thing, did it? Okay, it did. It didn't look like it, but I guess it did. Cool. Ooh, a radio. Ooh, music that I hopefully won't get copyrighted from. There's words in it. It's, I'm totally gonna get copyrighted for that. I should be fine because I'm playing the game and it's in the game, but like still, I don't know. Enjoy the visuals. Nintendo and HAL Laboratories, Inc. knew what they were doing. This game already looks amazing. There is a curve. That's good to know. I don't have to look into that. I was probably going to anyways, honestly. But yeah. Bye, car. Like it. Yeah, it's called Mouthful Mode, as you just saw. The bombs just float, that's funny. They get little lifesavers that are not... There we go. You can see them now. I like that. <laughs> H2O, <sighs> fine. How long has this water been in here? Yeah, it's fine. Water doesn't get bad. Only water bottles can. have to refill after this if one more shows up and stretch you got it that's some pops there okay <laughs> the stretch has been completed and so was the h2o <laughs> By the way, that music was really cool. I like that. Even when I didn't understand at all what they were saying, because I don't like reading the words at the bottom, it was still a really good song. No! They're being trapped! Wait, we usually kill them. Wait, why is this a bad thing? Like, I know that usually second player is one of those guys, but still, like, what's the problem here? Also, what's up with these foxes? Is that Bowser? <laughs> like, tell me that doesn't look like Bowser. Anyways. No! Not the blue... thing. Looks like a bat. But it's fuzzy. Either way, I like it and I want to save it. That was cool. Oh, we just have to collect it, okay. <laughs> okay. I like that theme. It happens like, at, at least inside of the game. I played before this. I have played one Kirby game before this. That was also on a Switch. Kirby Star Allies, I believe was the name of it. 
that theme seems to happen around the end of every single like big level. So yeah, that's cool. You saved me, thank you. Yep. Yes. <laughs> but what about those other guys? The Waddledees. They were all captured and taken away. We fought those beasts as hard as we could, but they kept coming back for, back for more. Now I'm the only one left. I have to go go save them. I have to go. I, I have to. I can't read, I guess. Hi. <laughs> Good response, Kirby. What? Uh, you'll help me save, save everyone? That's not what I said. I said hi. That's great. I said hi. So your name is Kirby? I, how did you know that? Did you, did you stalk me? I just said hi. I'm Elf, Elfilin, Elfilin. Can I just call you Elf for short? I don't know. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Even though it seems to be that you've met me before since you're stalking me and also just forcing me to go down these paths that I don't like. Hey Kirby, I never told you that. Oh, you, okay, I, second player, right there. Yes, I'm aware of that. I don't have friends though. I'm lonely. <laughs> Boy, am I glad to see you. I got pulled through that vortex over planet Popstar 2. Huh. Hey, what? I got pulled through that vortex over P planet Popstar 2, yeah. We were sucked to a vortex, and we just kind of like showed up here for Rock, who wasn't here at the time. It's, it's weird. Thanks for reading it out loud, because uh, I'm too tired to read. I'm suffering, not suffering, I'm struggling at reading it anyways, but you're welcome. What am I? I then, I'm hurt. No, you're my friend. No, I meant no friends that can play with me. That's what I meant. I have no friends that can play with me. Or I have no friends right beside me. That's what I mean. No. Friend. Anyways. If you want a second player to join you, ju just let me know. I've all... I'm all... Bleh, I'll always be ready. Yep. I probably won't ever, but... Cool. Left a ball, bomb for him. Natural planes. Hmm. Yeah, they seem to these little worlds, like hub worlds and things between levels. Oh, uh, cancel. Yeah, these seem to be like open world as well. It was the same thing with Kirby Star Allies, but this is just the first time we've seen like an open world. Kirby game, where it's not just, you know, open world between levels. Alright. Let's do this. 40% of bully? Wow. I can't believe you, Rock. 40% of bully. Um, no, I disagree. I disagree. Where did you go? What? Oh, there you are. There you go. Yeah, I humbly disagree. I am not 16% a bully. I am 0% a bully. Maybe 1% on a bad day. 16% isn't that a going a bit extreme there I should have swallowed mm. I'm not gonna <laughs> finish that sentence <laughs> I should have 
There really is no good word for that. Wow. Yeah. Um. I should have done that. That's what I should have done. So now if I could gain this guy's abilities. What I did to gain this guy's abilities, uh, nothing. Yeah, yes. What? <laughs> I'm a vending machine. Look at this. So dirty. Okay. Think about it though. If I wouldn't have, if I would have actually just said it, then Rock, you would have put it in quotes. I know you would have. But anyways, look. I'm a vending machine. I am a machine made for vending. Now I'm gonna vend so many things. Like this guy. <sighs> I really like how it like gets all glowy and stuff afterwards. I'm not gonna be typing much because I'm gonna be studying for finals that's fair and I should be but I'm not because I'm irresponsible rude but still I, I still feel like you would have made time to type that Really? It just, it just goes flying. That's cool. I love how this game looks. Look at that. That's so cool. Now I'll admit that the camera's a little weird. But, like, besides that, this game is working out great. Good to know. Oh, is this gonna be another one? It is a mouthful mode. Yeah. Spike down. Nice. Oh, I can just, like, press it and just does it. I don't have to press A and then B. Should I study right now? Or wait till, till last minute? Study now. Don't be like me and be irresponsible. Yeah, but you might fail less. What percentage of failage would be the difference is what you have to ask yourself. And is that percentage of failage worth it? The correct answer is no, it is not worth it. Or yes, it is worth it. And therefore, you should study. At least I... Well, I think you'll do fine. 
Yeah. Rock, you're smart. You can do it. I think that was supposed to be the boring path, and I found the cooler path. So. I have so many games to play. By the way, ah, uh, yeah, this was the one. The better path. Awkward thing. Uh, there's prop, like I'm like 85% sure there won't be a stream next week at all. Like, at all. So, that's awkward. Uh, I have more experience with this one, which is why I'm going to go with this one. In case there comes a point where I need... I had to walk into it? What? In case there comes a point where I need to use this one, I want to be sure that I can at least use it. spam that, which is pretty cool. No, 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 no. Please. Ah. We got him. And kablooey. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wait, no, no. I have no idea what that is. Anyways. I guess it was just an enemy that just had this ability. And I'm taking it. <laughs> um, okay, it's gone. I don't remember what it was, but it was like some sort of like final grade ca uh, graphing calculator or something like that. I believe is what we googled inside of my history class. And all it did, like what you did was you put in the percentage that your uh, final would be. Like what percentage of your grade the final is. Then you put in your current grade and the grade that you want. And it would tell you what percentage on the final you need to get it to happen. Ooh, this looks cool. That's cool. Okay. Can I not just... This is like an alternate ending type thing? Yeah, it goes on for a while. I'm assuming that this is like a multiple endings type thing. And this is like a little secret that I found. So I'm taking it. I keep on pressing the wrong button. <laughs> no. Come on, man. This is like bullying. <laughs>
Yeah. How's it feel to get beat up the, by your own ability? Rude. Let me just, like, kill you real quick. Thanks. Nice. I think we got all three. That's cool. We saved all three of the Waddle Dees. I keep pressing the wrong button. It just leaps. Just, eh. I guess I failed. I'm gonna go die. <laughs> if only life was that easy. That's a joke. And everyone should take it as a joke. Interesting. Ow. That was a weird sound I just made. Like, yeah, it was ow, clearly, but, like, still. It was a weird-sounding ow. Here we go. That's gotta hurt. Oh my god, it's the Waddle Dees! We could not save them, I'm out. <laughs> you, did you see that? The Waddle Dee, like, put his head down. Like, see? Cheering. All happy. I can walk over here. It puts its head down. It's all sad. It shakes its head. That's so sad. <laughs> Still love that music. Got almost everything. The mysterious. Yeah, I, kn I know the story. I, I lived it. I didn't live it, but I, I played it. Catch these three wild days. Okay. Yeah, okay. He's just telling us, like, st stuff we just did. Yeah, but where's the amiibo of it? <laughs> Please. Nintendo, I need. A Kirby Car Amiibo. I don't even. Ha I have one Amiibo to my name, but I will buy a Kirby Car Amiibo. It was eight out of nine, huh? Interesting. Nice. So, guys, how's life? Is it going well, or is it going horribly? Is today a Thursday? Wait, was it Wednesday or Thursday today? Please tell me it's Thursday. Okay, that's good. It's Thursday. Oh, that scared me. Just that thought of like, oh no. <laughs> no, but was it a Thursday or was it a Tuesday? And no, Thursdays are not that good, but the... They're not the worst, you know. I lit it on fire. And I have no regrets. I blew something up today. I can say that now. Somebody put that in quotes. <laughs> I knocked over a light. Now I've knocked over two, two lights. This is living. Why do you die by fire? You're literally on fire. Ugh. 
Oh no. That's fine. Yes. Can I just like rotate it? It's telling me to like go in all these different directions like individually. Can I just like spend that? I don't know. Um, can I get your power? No. Cool if I could, but I guess not. Which way is the correct path? Nothing happened. Y'all didn't see that. Yeah, I can. I don't like it when games do that. It's like, oh yeah, this seems like it's the path that I'm supposed to go down. So I'm gonna go down this other path. So if I can get a secret, and that it turns out that that path is actually the correct path. And the one that you thought that was a secret was, or no, the one that you thought was the actual path that you go down anyways turned out to be the secret and now you're gonna have to go back to that level at some point and i'm like can you just like make it more obvious on which one's which now do you have to like backtrack for like half a level and it's like uh and it's especially a challenging when uh, a part of level was like really really challenging and you like struggled with it great now <laughs> Now I gotta do it again. <laughs> that was cool. something. <laughs> These little things are inside of Mario. These little spike guys. I remember them from New Super Mario Bros. Uh, U. But they might have been inside some earlier games as well, I don't remember. upgrade anyways to a newer version. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. I just barely didn't make it. Rude. 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 Four ain't bad. And we're probably gonna save one more? I don't know. I 
I don't know how short this game is. I believe it is much longer than, at least from what I've heard, is longer than, um, uh, oh, a staircase? I can just become a staircase. Okay, that's cool. Anyways, um, it's longer than the Friends game that I played. Oh, we can just, that's cool. Kirby Star Allies, that's it. <laughs> uh, can, I believe it's longer than Kirby Star Allies. It's... Uh, which is good because Kirby Star Allies was not that long, honestly. Like, it was actually a rather short game. So I'm glad that it's a bit longer than that. Okay. I think this is the actual path. Gotta take that staircase. Hey, don't mind me just backing up. Nice staircase, I agree. Should I be swallowing this? Mm, should I be uh, taking the abilities of this uh, staircase again? Nope. Am I going to? Yep. Why? Because I'm not smart. Oh, maybe I maybe I was supposed to. I don't know. Come on. You've got this. No. Okay. You're gonna have to go one step higher. We made it. Collect you. Four out of four, nice. Could put that in one chest, just saying. Okay, cool. Should I have gotten that guy's powers? Yep, probably, but whatever. You see, I could have just got the thing without fighting these guys, but I don't care. I choose violence. Speaking of, I want to beat up those bats. Eight out of ten. Not for this level or in total? Probably just for that level. <laughs> Have we opened portals to other dimensions? The Waddle Dees you saved found new mysterious area. Treasure Road. There could be a rare item in there. Hop, hop in and explore. Well... Okay. Why not? Have some fun with it. I really enjoy Kirby games, so... Or, at very least, I enjoyed the one that I've played. And also, I'm enjoying this one. So... Why didn't I just use the bow and arrow one? I don't know. Like, I... I, I have the bow and arrow power. I'm just dumb. I beat a boss with this thing, but I can't figure out basic logic. <laughs> Whoa. 
gold, but there's other coins. I need that. There we go. I'm assuming for the first, since they're the first ones, they're going to be at least a little bit easier than the future ones. And by that, I mean I'm kind of just hoping that they are, because I kind of depend on that. No, I did not get that last one, and I know I didn't. Dude, <laughs> give it to me. Give it to me. Two minutes to spare. Okay, I like those things. We'll play them. A little bit of extra fun. Make us have this game last longer, even though I don't need it. I have enough games to laugh to last a lifetime. That's not even a joke. I'm pretty sure I do have enough games that a normal person with you know like if if a person doesn't stream or anything. So therefore they, you know, don't have like a schedule to play games, which usually I do anyways, even with a, a, a built-in schedule, but, you know, then I probably would have enough games that uh, it could last that person uh, their entire life. <laughs> and I'm over here going like, it'll last like two years tops. <laughs> Come on. They... They respawn. Dude. <laughs> That's so many games, yeah. Yeah, because it's not just that I want to end up playing these new games, which is already a lot because I have this game. Uh, the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, which is a game with a lot of endings. I want to get every single ending. I want to get every single ending, okay? And I am going to get every single ending. Do you understand? <laughs> but yeah. And then I have Steven Universe games. There's three Steven Universe games. And I want 100% every single one of them. Now, it'll probably be more like I play through one one like i'll play through all three i'll take a break from it like play some portal or something and after i'll go back to it and then 100 percent all of them but still i am going to eventually 100 percent every single one of them <laughs> that sounds hard uh not really my mind just what I'll probably do is I'll... What is Steven Universe? You say that as if I haven't brought it up before. I know you're just trying to mess with me. I know. But yeah. Um... But, uh, what was I about to say? How I usually do it is I'll go with one run at first. In that original run... I'll just go down the specific path that I want to go down. Uh, but then after that, every single round after that, I'll just make my way through every single ending from left to right. So it'll be like, if I have two choices, I'll be like, okay, I'll go left. I'll go left. I'll go left. And after that, I'll go all the way to the left. 
exploring. Just a second. Why is it being dumb? Just a second. Okay. Okay, I think we're fine. Hopefully. Anyways. Um, but yeah, but the, once I go all the way to the left, in the next round, I will repeat all of that except for on the last question. I switch back? I did. Okay. On the very last question, when I uh, first went left, that led to an ending. I'll now go right, do that ending, and then after that, in, I'll go in the question before that, where I originally went left to lead to those two endings. Now I'm going to go to the right. And I'll repeat that process over and over and over again until eventually I went to just going right. If that makes sense. Now, Steven Universe is a. Steven Universe? Um, no. Uh, uh, Stanley Parable is a little bit different. It's not all. It's mostly two choices. But it's not just two choices, you know? Every once in a while you'll end up with, um, like multiple choices. And inside those situations, I just kind of have to compromise with myself. <laughs> that was probably not the way we were supposed to solve that, but whatever. <laughs> I was not supposed to burn them. Thank you. That makes sense? Yeah. Yeah, like I said, though, on the first round, I won't be going just left. I will be just going down a, a path that I want to go down. And that's just to find out, like, the path that I am. I don't know why I do that. But it's, it's like my own version of a horoscope. I want to find out what ending I would end up on if I was actually in this situation, you know? It's just like a horoscope type thing for me. <laughs> Even though I don't really care about actual horoscopes, it's weird. <laughs> I can just rotate it, that's good to know. <laughs> can I shoot these? I can't shoot them. <laughs> Man, you try to shoot a ginormous boulder and then, you know, it starts telling you that you can and it's like, what? Why? It's just a ginormous boulder. With, you know, me shooting a tiny pebble at a, like, semi-fast speed, you know, like, I think those are equals. More than equals, even. <laughs> yeah, what is happening with the thing up here? I don't know. <laughs> My music playing thing is acting weird. Here, I'll try something. Speech point. Song. <laughs> yeah, that's. I'm pretty sure that's not what's playing. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Plus, also, it showed up twice in a row, which is weird. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> it caught up with itself. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that that's something that actually I was playing off s stream. I don't know why that's playing now. <laughs> or why it showed that it was playing now. Not that it matters, because it's not, um, you know, even, you can't actually hear it. 
Oh no. Run everybody, run! I'm telling you, I this boulder will not kill you. I will. I chose violence. I missed a coin. I'm sad. I missed a thing. No. I'm gonna kick this can. Yeah. You take that can. I'll die if I jump in there, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think I will. It's a black void that usually means that it's, um, you know, a death void. I'm a car again. And I am about to make it everyone's problem. <laughs> oh boy. Can I make it, please? Is that an option? Game? I would like to make it. I, this was clearly made for me to make it, right? Like, I'm not losing my mind. This isn't like a ditch the car moment. No, this is a... No, I'm sad. Bring it on! I'm a car! A very, very rustic car. I'll survive. Wait. Update that command where it says who where well, most of the music comes from. Cause that's no longer accurate. <laughs> that's loud. Like for instance, hyper potions, I don't use their music anymore because on YouTube you can get DS DMCA'd for it. But I also have a lot of other music people that are that I do use that aren't listed there. So, two more challenges. Let's go do them. What time is it? 4.16. And my legs are in agony. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Go, that's nice. Did I even light it? No, it better be all in one go, or else I just look like an idiot. There we go. We're giving way too much time for those things. 
Probably because I'm on easy mode. That That's probably why. <laughs> But in my defense, it's the only it's only the second Kirby game I've ever played. So there is my excuse. We're almost out of World One, and we've been I've been streaming for. Why did my book just fall over? No, stay up, stay standing, book. No. Good. Yeah, but um. Oh, has it only been like uh, what would that make? Mm. What did I make it like 45 minutes maybe? Maybe 50? Oh, I didn't even see them. Ah, <laughs> oh, I was so close again to them all at once. This game is really good. I really enjoy this. Okay, it does, it does run out, but still, that's cool. I'll take it. Yeah, I'll kill them even while they're sleeping. I'll do like reverse Santa. I kill you when you're sleeping. I know when you're awake. Don't care if I'm... You give me powers or not? I'm gonna kill you anyways. Um, Christmas time, Christmas. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know either, man. That guy doesn't give me another ability, does he? So I died.
went all in and won 675, and now they now have 13 or uh, 1,350. Huh. Well, dang it, I'm not poor. It's fine. I'll be poor again eventually. I couldn't. Uh, whatever. Wait, can I go up falls with this? No? Okay. I just thought it'd be interesting to try it. Interesting. I like it. Okay. So you go straight, and after when you reach the hamburger, you go right. Got it. Do they like lead to nothing or do they actually lead to something interesting? Everyone at once, that was cool. I'm actually glad I went down this path. This is cool. I like it. Should I grab the fire thing? Yeah, probably. But oh well. This is actually still going pretty well, even without it, so... Not too shabby. Oh, dang, I've been eaten. And it's dead. I'll take it. I'm back. Welcome back, Rock. Uh, so I just defeated the boss. Oh, with the spiky ability. You saw the spiky ability, right? I think you did. But yeah, now I can just ice skate on nothing. I mean, uh, on ground, of course, but, you know, ice skate on something that's not ice. And I can freeze things, like snowmen. Wait. <laughs> something ain't right here. Freeze snowmen? That don't seem right. These remind me of the uh, flying Pikmin. Huh. That's so cool. Yeah. I like this. It's fun. I'll save you. Uh, oh no. Okay, maybe I won't. Okay, you're going over here now. Okay, I missed two. And now this is the third one. 
Yeah, and the only reason I'm uh, that I fought that boss was because there was a map that told me to um, when I reached a straightaway to turn right on a, on a hamburger place. So of course my mind went, well of course I'm not gonna go right on the hamburger place. The map told me to do that. There's gonna be secrets. And I was right, I guess. There we go. Okay, now it's telling me... It, there's a piece missing on this one. Anyways, it's telling me to go left on the cake. Rock, what do you think? Should I go left on the cake? When we get over there. Oh, it's telling me there's an ice cream place as well. That's probably to tell me... Because I, I saw over there, I'm pretty sure there are multiple cake places. That's telling me that that's specifically the one that's right beside an ice cream place. Yeah, you can see it the... Okay, you're just gonna... You die. You freeze. Please. Yeah, you see how in the back there's another cake place right... Like, there's a cake place right here with popcorn, and in the back there's a cake place with ice cream across from it. You do want me to go... Okay. Alright. I shall follow the leader. While I'm here, you, just, you did this to yourself. These are mine. You understand me? I won't kill you because I already ruined your night, but these are mine. <laughs> oh, yeah. Waddle Dee. Yeah, there's also these things that I can just like tip over. You already already saw that, of course, but yeah, well, that's cool. I'm still really interested in what were behind the, those other places. Without getting lost. Ooh. <laughs> One of the prizes was for not getting lost in the place. I think I got lost in the place. <laughs> because I, like I said before, I went down the wrong path on purpose. So, <laughs> yeah, oh well. Oh, no, it has this system? No, I hate this system. The system of, like, oh, yeah, get enough of the collectibles on uh, the world so that you can end up getting to the final boss. I never liked that. That's so annoying. Because that means now, if I don't have enough, I'm going to have to backtrack. And the worst part is that most of the time, they, if, like, the final boss or something, they require you to get, like, 90% of all of the things or something like that and it's like that's a lot <laughs> that's a lot of them 
and you're usually like 20 behind. And you have to click, collect all those different things. It's like, I don't want to do that. I'm very, very lazy, and I don't want to do that. <laughs> like, for certain games, sure, I'd do it. Uh, you know, if I'm enjoying the game that much, but for most games... I haven't quite decided if this is a game that I'd do that for. But, but, yeah, for most games, though, I would not actually end up uh, doing that. Yeah, that system is what I call the 3D World system, because the first game I ever heard about having it, I've probably played some other games with it, but the, that's the first time that I ever heard about it was with uh, 3D World. So I just automatically just connected with that game. And yeah, just, no. <laughs> Great game, terrible system. Ironically, it was also on a not terrible system, but a terribly marketed system. The Wii U. That apparently most people didn't even know existed. I'm sick with the ice. I like it. No? Okay. I probably missed something back there, but I won't. If you, like, turn left. Oh. Oh, I recognize this. I recognize this. The first boss. Like, first real boss. As far as I'm aware. Maybe it's the same as the last ones. I don't know. Strong Arm Beast Gorilla, what? Or, sorry, Gorimon. Gorimon Dawn, what? Probably should have changed my power, actually. I don't know if this is the best power for a boss. Like, it's a really good power, but just not for this. I do kind of want to know what happens when I get, you know, caught in there. Ah! <laughs> uh. Oh no, <laughs> that's... Frozen. Don't 
Dang it. He had a delay there. Probably because he's frozen. Okay, run. Learning new abilities. Oh, we can. S okay. It's become a tornado. And we run. We run from the tornado gorilla. Okay, that leaves waves. It's faster as well. Tornado! And we run, and we run, and we run, and we run, and we run. And I lose my power. <laughs> please, please. Freeze, please! We got him. Not a terrible fight. Um, I'll admit it was a little easy, but that's usually just how Kirby games go. But yeah, that was still a really, like, really, really fun fight and a little challenging as well. I liked it. That was fun. Don't change. <laughs> I don't need that. I don't need to go in wild mode. Again, second ever Kirby game. I don't think I'm prepared for that. <laughs> and yeah, I know I could just like turn it off again, but still. Waddle D Town. Nice. Back here. Oh. oh. Interesting. Well, these are rebuilding their town. Save as many as you can to open up new buildings and helpful resources. Okay, that's cool. We actually get something from getting the collectibles besides just continue the game. I like that. Waddle Dee Cinema is now open. Rewatch some memorable scenes on the big screen. Oh, I'm going there. Oh, a vending machine? Gotcha machine. Okay. Volume 1 is now available. Turn the crank uh, to get a figure. Try to collect a whole set. The whole set. The one whole set. <laughs> Waddle Dee's Weapons Shop it is now open. Head here to make a copy ability even stronger. Okay, that's good to know. 
OP, I uh, always believed in you? Definitely. <laughs> I mean, you never actually... I say that, like, sarcastically, as if you, like, said that I was gonna fail. You didn't. <laughs> so, thank you, Rock. We be right back. Someone is calling me. Okay. Look. Wow. Waddle Dee's Weapon Shop is now open. We need to grab copy abilities. I also heard the Waddle Dee's inside. My book fell. Now listen here, book. I told you to stay standing, and you are going to stay standing. You understand me? Defy gravity if you must. <laughs> Anyways, back to the game. Also, I heard the wa the Waddle Dee is inside. You know a secret to grow to growing stronger. Let's pay them a visit. Let's pay them a. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Good to know. There's more? Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Let's go in here first. I work with... Welcome to Wall of D's Weapons Shop. I work with all types of copy abilities. It's kind of my thing. Okay. Any copy abilities you find out, out there will become available in here. Pop in and grab one anytime. How do you know what a copy ability is? Because as far as we're aware, only Kirby can copy things. Anyways. Oh, and guess what else? I can help you evolve those abilities to m make them much stronger. Okay. This blueprint contains some incredible techniques uh, we can use it to evolve your ability. Let's try to evolve one right now. Uh, I'm already my tools. Okay. Thanks for waiting. The cutter ability can now be evolved into Chancram Cutter. Interesting. It's for wait the the fire ability can be evolved into Volcano Fire. Ooh, that sounds interesting. I gotta pick the Volcano Fire. To ev the evolve the copy ability, you'll need st star coins and rare stones. Okay. You can find rare... Yeah, it's either Treasure Road. Yeah, got the map. Try out those out. I peppered everything in advance this time, so we're all set. Just press A to evolve your abil the ability. Okay. Five hundred, and so I have one thousand to spare. And I currently have seven of those things, and it costs two. Got it. Fire ability has has become into volcano fire. Success! All done. The fire ability has evolved into volcano fire. If you find more blueprints, j just bring them to me. Uh, I'll use them to evolve your abilities even further. Okay. Nice. Oh, can I do a walk? Okay, that's cool. That's cool.
stay in there. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> Good to know. Oh, I just keep it? Okay. I thought it would, like, go away once I reached there. When you're ready to explore some more, just hop on the war warp star and fly, fly to a new area. Got it. So many different figures. Do you have a favorite Kirby? I don't know. I haven't seen them. Oh, they're from the ones I collected. Okay, then probably the car one is the one I probably want. Wait, I already have the one. I don't know, man. Does it cost something? Okay, it costs one singular coin. Good to know. And I'm assuming you can get copies. Welcome to Waddle Dee Cinema. You can watch all kinds of movies here. Are you wondering why we built a cinema so soon? Well, it's because entertainment is important. Of course it is. So which movie will, will you like to watch, Kirby? I don't know. Hmm, I'm gonna have to go with Which one of these is it? From the New World? Yeah, Welcome to the New World. I'm assuming that's the music one. If I'm gonna get copyrighted for it once, I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> I might as well. Use it while I got it. Yep. Okay, is it gonna like make me like replay this section kind of? Or is it gonna like maybe maybe like saved my exact movements in this area? Wait, no, I'm an idiot. No, this part was all animated. I'm dumb. Hello, Lynn. How are you doing today? And yes, that is Kirby. It's something called... Is that car Kirby? Yes. Um, cancel. It's something called Mouthful Mode, I believe is what it's called. Where it, Kirby is able to, like, eat most of something, but not able to, like, full-on, like, swallow it. And it makes sense that... Kirby's able to like, get abilities from that thing. Like, for instance, partially swallowing a car so then Kirby can drive around. <laughs> Who thought of that? Well, yeah, it's... And yes, I know, Lynn, I know that sounded wrong, but that's literally the only way I can describe it. Look, control settings. That's what it's called. Okay. Okay. That's not me referring to it in a dirty way. No, it's literally just that. That he... That, that Kirby cannot swallow 
the car and other things like that. Listen, I didn't even think of anything weird, my guy. Mm, I doubt that. Anyways. <laughs> um, yeah, look at this. It's so cool. This is the new lava thing, because it started off as fire, but I just evolved it, because now you can evolve your abilities, which is really cool. No, no, I did not mean to press that. Good, okay. Yeah. This is the newest Kirby game. Uh, and yeah, it's just so much fun. It's so pretty, and it's the first ever 3D Kirby. Yeah, I like it. If you hadn't said anything, I honestly wouldn't have noticed. Hmm. <laughs> I'm good. I'm just gonna finish my art art slides while yeah, while I'm here. Nice. Good luck, Lynn. You actually just came in as we're going to World Two. We already finished World One, but yeah. How about you? I'm doing pretty good. Thank you. Uh. Yeah, I can't really think of anything to note off. <laughs> what I... Something that I guess I could mention is that next week, I am like... I'd say a good like 85% sure that there will not be a stream next week at all. Uh, because I know multiple people that would be like graduating and stuff. But yeah. Oh, that's food. <laughs> that's not an enemy. That's food. That helps you survive. That is pretty, yeah. Oh, rude. Swallow. Stop, I forgot it was graduation week. My senior friend is leaving. Oh no, I'm sorry. Ah. Yeah, my sister's graduating. So, crocodile. Why is it? Wait, what? I'm sorry. What? Look at its legs. It's so tiny. But a wee baby, indeed. I'm sick with the fire. That usually means that it's a boss. Yep, or a mini boss. We did. Co okay, we did have a bigger boss earlier. Um, of course, as the final thing. Now you're just on fire, so I wonder if I can just like leave you and you'll just die. You are taking damage. Yeah, I think you're dead. Cool. <laughs> I stopped like halfway through, but dice. <gasps> A hammer. I'll take it. I can whack so many people on the head with this. It's a wee baby. Wild bonkers, indeed. That's cool. Okay, we already looked at that one, so what's the two? 
there. Good to know. Okay. Good to have a full grasp on your abilities. Even though I'll probably never really hold it. It's still good to know. Just in case I ever do need it. Not that button. I'm dumb. Rude, rude, rude. I need that. Cherry. Assuming this is the secret path for like some sort of I don't know. My sister gave me the rest of her my Mike and Ice. Good cut. What the heck? Timer. I'll read that afterwards. Swim, please, Kirby. Oh no. I'm so low on time. Uh. If I knew it was coming, I would have prepared. I didn't attack because I'm dumb. Nice. Got him. My sister gave me the rest of her... Mike and Ike's because she already eaten all of the green ones. What's Mike and Ike's again? <laughs> Either way, that's funny. <laughs> right, it's a, one of the candies. Yeah. I'm not really the biggest fan of Mike and Ike's. Yeah, pretty much. It's just how my taste buds feel in today. Mouthful mode. You see? I haven't seen this one yet. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, similar to the car. By the way, we were inside a movie theater witnessing a past moment there. That's what was happening with the car. Yeah. That was, like, at the very beginning of the game, actually. Interesting. 
interesting. <laughs> that were, yes, a literal bl red blood cell. Look at uh, Kirby, Kirby. No, no, no. That's not the direction that I said to go, Kirby. Just look at that. Red yeah, Lynn, you're totally right. Red blood cell right there. All the time, my sister agrees with me on, a, on the pop thing. Okay. On the pop thing? Okay. First off, first off, oh, Kirby falls asleep or something when I leave him for a second? Okay, anyways. Yes, of course they agree with you, because you live in the same household, and when you live in the same household, you often are taught in a similar way, and if you're taught in a similar way, you are going to think in a similar mindset, such as calling some, calling something known as a popsicle otter pops also you're okay with calling quote unquote otter pops otter pops but you can't call soda pop it's pop they both have pop in it what's the difference also it, popsicles and quote unquote otter pops are made of the exact same thing. The only difference is that one has a, a popsicle stick. That's the only difference. I will ask all of my friends. Kubito slash otter pop. Kubito? I don't even know what that is. Is that like a Spanish way of saying it? Is that, is that something in Spanish that I just don't know? Anyways, you can't call it Otter Pops, though, because that's like saying... That's defining something by a brand. That's not what you're supposed to do. Like, if I said, hey, grab me that Nike, and they were, and there was, like, a pair of, like, pants, a shirt, and shoes, you wouldn't instantly know what it is. You would have to see which one was made by Nike. And... <laughs> It'd be quicker just to say, hey, grab me those shoes, grab me that shirt, grab me something. You don't, because you don't define something by its brand that makes it. And that's only a singular brand. I've never even seen an Otter Pop before until you mentioned it. <laughs> they are different things. They're the exact same thing. Just <sighs> don't bring soda into it. It's called Pop. <laughs> Probably that's how we call it. We mostly call it Kubito Otter Pops. Is mostly for the actual brow okay. Th that's fine then. I'm fine with that then. Because then it's, you know, you're following the actual laws of how things work. <laughs> and you're not just like calling something by its brand, which is completely different. Uh, I don't know what to do in this situation. I'm not a Oh, I can just kill those things? Okay. Get over here. You little baby alligator. You've never... No, I've never seen an otter pop until you mentioned it. I've seen, like, a popsicle, and I've seen what you, what an otter pop is, you know, but I have not seen the actual brand or a box of otter pops. But see, Lynn, here's the thing, though. Both me and Rock uh, just agreed that it's called a popsicle. Both of us. That's a two against one. Huh. 
Weird. Oh, we also say ah. Uh, otter pops when we talk to someone who doesn't live with us. So they know well, what we're talking about. What? Froggy agreed with me. Frog always agrees with you. Frog always agrees with you, Lynn. 2v2 to Okay. Still. That's still a 50-50. And in a 50-50, that often means that both sides are correct. And I'm I'm willing to admit that you're that you are correct, but you also have to admit that I'm correct at the same time. So. Wait, but we can't really just like, agree on anything if they contradict each other. How do we how do we both admit that both sides are correct? How do people solve these kind of issues? I've never run into this problem before. Here's a little mini level. Because like, you can't have, you can't agree that they are popsicles and are not popsicles at the same time. Is it, would that just be agree to disagree? I guess. I really hate agreeing to disagree. It's so dumb. Like, I get it, but it's so dumb. <laughs> Maybe that's just because in, like, any other situation, I'm either proven right or wrong. And in this kind of situation, it's like whenever you'd say agree to disagree, most of the time it's because neither sides have enough evidence to prove themselves correct, or it's like an opinionative thing. And it's like, but I want to show who's right. Yo, you ever seen one of those people that like just don't know what an opinion is? <laughs> That's a ceiling. That's a ceiling. There we go. Because I know some people who say that, um, what was it, like, 3 squared equals 6? A.K.A. It, squaring, of course, being timesing something by itself one time. And 3 times 3 does not equal 6. And I try to tell them, like, no, when you square something, you multiply it by itself. It's 3 times 3, which equals 9. 3 squared equals 9. And they're like, it's my opinion. And I'm like, but no, it's not. That's not an opinion. That's just a wrong statement. <laughs> it's just you being incorrect. <laughs> There's a difference. Wrong button. <laughs> I will ask everyone I know. If you live in the same area, that usually means that you'll end up uh, coming to the same conclusion, though. Especially when, if you know people, like, that, that, that just, that's a rigged system. That's a rigged system right there. And you, I can't even, like, agree, like, okay, well, I'll ask everyone I'll, I know, because I don't know anyone. You're rigging the system, Lynn. And I don't appreciate it. <laughs> I fought this guy before, but I had a different ability. Now it's a uh, two different people with the same ability, or more or less the same ability. Oh no. Do we have to fall off the thing? I'm an idiot. 
No. Got it. I got a little low health on there, I'm not gonna lie. I think we get a little bit too much time on those things, although they're probably gonna get shorter and shorter over time. So, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it really is just like them slowly making it harder. Hi back, welcome back, Rock. Any life-changing moments? Did I already finish this? No, I did not. I'm done. Hmm. Oh. Okay. I thought that that, that would be a, an ability. It wasn't. Neat. That's a seal. I want to beat up the seal. This feels like a... Kind of like zoom in in some way. Okay, whatever. Just imagine it's like zoomed in on my face, okay? Just imagine it's zoomed in on my face and I'm like looking at you down the eye. Do not hurt seals. I'm like 99% sure they are endangered and that is illegal. Like, majorly illegal, so don't do that. <laughs> I do not condone violence against seals. Not only because they're endangered and it's illegal, but also because they're just... They're seals, man. What are you, heartless? That was a bomb. Why did the violence against seals come up? <laughs> because there was a ginormous seal, and I killed it. <laughs> because, you know, it was an enemy, and it was throwing bombs and stuff. So, yeah, this guy, you see? It's throwing bombs. It's an enemy. I'm clear, like, it's clearly something that I probably can get around it, but I'm still gonna kill it. But I have to mention the fact that no, do not hurt seals. That is illegal. And just wrong. <laughs> also, ha have you seen the videos of how they uh, ki killed them? What? What? Heartless. Heartless bastards. What? Who kills seals? Okay, I'm sorry. That is no. Before I was like partially joking because I didn't think anyone would be, you know, so that heartless, you know? But no, apparently people actually do it. No. That doesn't count as a swear. Bastard. I don't say bastard that often, but it's not. I'm not against saying bastard. Is that a thing? Is that a thing for some people? Oh, that gives me an ability. That's cool. shrunk a, a lot because of the more hunting of their coats. Yeah, I thought I knew that, that was a thing at a certain point. Oh, you're talking about like in the past. Because I I thought you were saying like right now. I was like, what? Isn't like isn't that like majorly illegal on like so many levels? 
But yes, I was aware at a certain point in time that that was a thing. I missed. Oh, the shadow goes straight down. Are you kidding me? I need that. It's spaghetti. I really like spaghetti. <laughs> it's an addiction. Also, just for fair game, Lynn, you've said before that if we ever end up meeting or something, that you're just gonna make me try just a whole bunch of foods. If we ever end up meeting, you're also trying our, like, my area's Olive Garden, because that, that, that stuff is good. <laughs> And I'm convinced that you have not, like, that you've just not had a good enough Olive Garden. The breadsticks, man. But also at the same time, if the breadsticks aren't burning your mouth, they are not Olive Garden's breadsticks. Not the real ones. They have to burn your tongue when they reach your mouth. And I know that sounds weird. I know that sounds weird, like, why would you want it to burn your mouth? But trust me, it's good. You want it to burn your mouth. Oh, I'm an idiot. I was reading chat. <laughs> there is laws against that? Yeah, because they're endangered. And then 18 through 1900s really said go crazy in terms of killing any animal pretty much yeah all yes Olive Garden trust me it is just so good you just gotta find the right meal you know because I'm not gonna lie with Olive Garden it's most of the time that you get like two or three meals inside the entire menu that you're gonna like Otherwise, you will not like the food. You need to make sure you pick the food for you. And everyone's food is gonna be different. But once you find your food, man, are you gonna love it. Yeah, Texas Roadhouse is meh. Like, it's good, but it's it's not all, it's not all a garden. It's just not. Doesn't, uh, Texas Roadhouse gives the peanuts, right? That's the main reason I go to te Texas Roadhouse, for the peanuts. Honestly. I don't know what I get usually. I think it's a steak, but I don't know for sure. And they're applesauce slash mashed potatoes? Okay, never mind, I do remember the mashed potatoes are good. I, I take that back, that is true, that's a fair statement. But still, it's 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 got nothing on Olive Garden. My area is Olive Garden, at least. Peanuts? Yeah. No, no. It's got everything on Olive Garden. It's got nothing on Olive Garden at all. But yeah, uh, at Texas Roadhouse, at least, I think they might have taken it away now, but whenever you, like, first came in, instead of getting, like, breadsticks or something, like you would at other places, uh, they would give you just one big bucket, and I do mean a bucket. <laughs> like, we're talking, like, a silver bucket of just peanuts. Why does it do that? I want to go down. What? Oh, cool. I haven't seen this one before. What's this? Oh, I'm assuming it just rolls. Yep, I figured. That's funny. It, like, flattened. Dang. That thing must have picked up some speed. Or that was a really, really hard wall. Like, dang. Well, 
Those are, are the best. Yeah. They're not terrible. They're not terrible. But, yeah. Also, I learned the other day you can just uh, door dash their, their bread rolls and my life has forever been changed. You know what? That's actually, that's actually useful information. That's pretty cool. Not the bread roll slander. They're just, they're not bad, but they're not that good. They're good, but just... They're not the- they're not my first choice, you know? If someone just said, hey, I want some bread rolls, where should I go? My first suggestion would not be Texas Roadhouse. It'd be on the list of, like, top ten or something. Maybe even top five. But... Not... Not number one. They're <laughs> bread rolls ever. Okay. What am I supposed to do here? Go through it? What? What? Oh, I didn't even see that in the corner. It's telling me exactly what I need to do, and I'm not even paying attention. information. Oh no. <laughs> oh, boy. along with like the butter they give fair enough F fair enough they're like sweet but not not too crunch okay <laughs> i i didn't know that crunch is crunch a word what j j just a second <laughs> what does crunch mean Nope, neither. N neither of those two choices. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I think you misspelled that. Not too much, maybe? They are like sweet, but not too m Okay, that makes sense. Not too much. I don't know why I struggled with that word. <laughs> and then the butter thing? God, Carlos missed it so well. I like, I like it 90% of all the bread rolls uh, we got uh, when we go there. I would eat uh, all of them, but my friend, friend I had all, also there, so, th fair enough. <laughs> he was like, why you gotta be here? Like, can you just, like, not be here so I can enjoy the bread rolls? Okay. Yeah, go sit in the car. 
I'll get you some steak or something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. If there's any leftovers, bring them to the car. You can eat that. But get out. I'm eating the bread rolls, okay? Okay. No, you can't have the keys. You're gonna have to struggle in the, with the with no air conditioning. <laughs> oh, what do you? Oh, all of them? Oh. Oh yeah, the family too. I read that as friends for some reason. You can kick them out too. <laughs> Crunch is not much. Okay. Uh, uh, in context, it's it made sense. But like it it also could have made sense as a word I just didn't know, okay? Jeez. <laughs> Spaghetti. Mm. <laughs> I give my uh, steak away. I don't even want it. Uh, I get the smallest one so I can get get the applesauce and mashed potatoes. <laughs> Can you not just, like, ask for applesauce and mashed potatoes? <laughs> Would that not be easier? Like, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that'd be much easier. Seriously? So close. Come on! They... It, it's, it's touching. I, I took a bigger thing there. I don't know what's happening. Anyways. I guess not. <laughs> Oh, that's how you. Make that. Ooh, a scroll. What scroll? A uh, cutler needle blueprint. Okay. The um, blueprints make it sound that your abilities can get upgraded. So like when I end up saying that the fire ability turned into that volcano thing, and it wasn't originally like that. Yeah, that's a using a blueprint. So that's cool that I found one. There's so many different mouthful modes, and I really like it. No, there are sides, so you have to get to get a steak. Yeah, but like, really? You can't just ask, like, hey, can I just, like, not? <laughs> the, the sides usually have a price anyways, don't they? So just don't pay as much and take the sides. I understand that every once in a while you might end up getting a waiter that's like, no, I can't do that. But, at least in my experience, most of the time that waiters would just be like, oh, okay, weird, but sure. You get two sides with every steak. Ah. Okay, so it's like, it comes with it, okay. Got it, that makes sense. I'm taking this. I like this power. The ice ability, very nice. You like slide around, you can freeze things, yeah. Air's got nothing on ice. Even though it actually does, like, it, ice is actually, is made of water and, you know, water needs air in it, or oxygen at least. You know, H2O. But whatever. <laughs> yeah, rude. I need that. Random pop quiz. Lynn, off the top of your head, what are we mostly breathing? When we inhale, how, like, the majority of what we're inhaling is what? Why am I doing this? Because, I don't know. This boss fight seems like it's gonna take a while.
carbon dioxide? Oh, I'm sorry, but you are incorrect. Yeah, good guess, though. I'm pretty sure that actually does take second place. But then we turn it into oxygen. What? <laughs> what? What? Lynn, please tell me you're joking. Please. <laughs> My brain, it like shut off. <laughs> I'm done with that question. I'll get back to that later. Do you- what? <laughs> Were you joking? I worded that weirdly. It sounded like you're saying that we're trees. That, that's what it sounded like. Or... And then we turn it into oxygen. Ha we turn it into oxygen. What? <laughs> Huh? Because that's what trees do. They take in oxygen and then split out carbon dioxide. We take in carbon dioxide and turn it into oxygen. I'm sorry, no, we take in oxygen and we turn it into car- I can't think. Blah. A tree is taking carbon dioxide and then let out oxygen. We take in car uh, oxygen and spit out carbon dioxide. Stop, leave me alone. Yeah. I worded it weirdly. I don't see how... I don't see how you could have, like, paraphrased it or whatever to make it sound like the exact opposite of what you said. <laughs> what it, Where was your emphasis in that sentence? I can't figure it out. <laughs> Because you were saying the exact opposite of what you were trying to say. What? Anyways. The correct answer to the question is nitrogen. We are mostly breathing nitrogen, and nitrogen is useless as heck. It's barely useful for anything at all, let alone human life. Rude. Got it. Eventually. I was thinking of the card. What? Okay, uh, um. Spit this out, take this. Air ability, cool. I was thinking of the cardiovascular system that re rejects red blood cells when they go through the heart. What? Red blood cells with ox. Okay. Oh, okay. I actually can understand what you were thinking there. Weird thought process. <laughs> I'm not, I mean that in the nicest way possible, just a weird thought process there, but it, you at least had a reason. You at least had a reason for thinking that we were trees. Just like bounce off of wall, that's fun. This night, huh? Uh, I had to make a presentation about it today. Ah, that makes sense. Yeah, lingering in my mind. Ah. If you rock, didn't I tell you? But I had to refill the water. I'll be right back. Yeah, 
you know, I witnessed that message being sent, Lynn. I witnessed it. I was just, like, twisting on the cap. I sat down, I was twisting on the cap for my water bottle, and I just witnessed you say that. Because it was sent. Yeah. There's your hydrate. Oh, was that a timer? <laughs> I didn't even see that thing at the top. Uh. Got it. <laughs> Just barely. Well, if I was talking about, uh, about a presentation that, uh, or a speech that I ended up doing a while, this was a while ago, it was inside of speech class, because yes, my school is like a speech class type thing, but yeah, so it was inside of speech class, and I believe, what was it, ooh, a potential spam call, don't mind if I do, okay, um, I believe the idea of the speech was, is it okay to change history? The thing is, though, that the teacher... Uh, like, okay, teacher. But she did, like, a terrible job with this particular presentation. She w did not explain it well. Like, half the class had no idea what to do at all. There was something there. I missed it. I'm a... I'm a, I'm a, I'm a loser. I'm a disappointment to my family and everyone I know. And, yeah... <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> what is this? That's what it was. Nice. But yeah. So everyone was just really confused. But that was the idea, though. Just, is it okay to change history? Talk about it. And bring in facts. But since I had literally no idea, I just spent the entire time just trying to learn what the presentation was about because whether I tried to ask her again like hey what is it that didn't really help or, or I asked other people that seemed like they did understand still nope also this mouthful mode here this looks awesome I really enjoy this like already okay it's backwards okay I probably should, yeah. Okay, that's backwards. I need to spin, I'm so dumb. Oh, I, I probably worded that pretty weirdly, didn't I? Okay, so we had a time machine? No. <laughs> um, change history isn't, like, in media. Like, inside, like, movies or games or something. Is it okay to change history and change the past in any sort of way? Would you like to retry? No. But that was very, very cool. I enjoyed that. Oh yeah, what? <laughs> yeah, that, that's what I mean. Um, 
changing history inside like media and stuff. No. I still need to learn about this ability. Oh, <laughs> that was it. Oh well. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, so. Uh, that was a presentation, but I had no idea for the entire time that we were supposed to be getting research and typing out our notes and stuff. I had no ideas at all. The day of the presentation came around, and my only hope was to just watch people give their presentation and for me to just, like, learn what the presentation should be about. Guess what? I presented that day. Yeah. I didn't wait until the next day when we were still, like, doing the rest of the pre presentations. Nah. I did the presentation that day because I got the... I looked at everyone else's presentations and stuff that they were doing, and I pretty well got the idea of what the presentation was about. And I talked for three minutes about Captain America. I got to talk about Captain America for three minutes at school. Tell me that's not the biggest brag on the planet. Yes, I passed. Thank you very much, Rock. And I, I with flying colors, I had, I believe, a 91% on that assignment. And I am so proud of that. I talked about Captain America. I had no research before this. Like, I literally got the idea during the class period. And I got it. Like, and I got a 91%. Tell me that's not cool. Good job, thank you very much, Rock. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh no, I'm I'm about to die. <laughs> the teacher needs to be more specific. She she really did, yeah. Yeah, so I actually still kind of remember what the speech was about, more or less. Uh, it was a three-part speech. It was an opinionative statement of... It, it didn't matter whether or not we thought it was a good idea or a bad idea to change history and media. It really was just an opinionative statement. And it came in three sections. I remember two of those sections. Warning now. This reaches heavy issues inside of one of the sections. I will warn you when we reach that section... But yeah, we're just, yeah, we're, just, we're talking about Captain America, so that's to be expected. Anyways. So. Yeah, I'm pausing the game. So, the first part was just uh, Captain America. Uh, my argument was that it's okay to add to history, but it's not okay to change history. And my reasoning for that was because when you add to history you end up with captain america a hero who at the end of the day it ended with the same conclusion world war ii ending it's just that now there's a superhero who was in the middle of it you added to history versus what i did in the second section that changes history here's the heavy issue just a final warning where what happened was it was a cross it was a event where how do i explain this all the good guys became bad guys and all bad guys became good guys so you guys know red skull right the greatest enemy of captain america a nazi can i say that word <laughs> um a jew hater no that doesn't that sounds bad too I mean, obviously it's bad, yeah, but like... What's a word I can use? Duh. 
Anyone got an idea? This... Netflix. We're going to call it Netflix. That's offensive to Netflix, but who cares? Say party leader. Okay, that works. Wait, what? <laughs> party, what? Party, okay. Um, yeah. Red Skull was a... <laughs> was a party leader. And, um... It's really hard to, like, beat around the bush. I, w I did not beat around the bush at all during the actual presentation because... One, Twitch wasn't there. And two, it just, it felt like an issue that I had to, like, talk about. It just felt right. But yeah. But anyways. Uh, Red Skull was a party leader. And, but since they were inside this event where good guys became bad guys and bad guys became good guys, it meant that now Red Skull started doing these good things and Captain America started doing these bad things. Which made it so then... Now all of the viewers are like, what the heck? Why did you make the party leader a good guy? He's not a good guy. He's a party leader. People do not like that because you're changing history. You're not adding to history. You are changing history. It's not good. And that was my argument. Book reference? Hmm. What book? <laughs> yeah, that was that was my presentation. That it's okay to uh, add to history like Captain America, but not change history like switching up the roles inside of World War II. And at the end of the day, I think that it came out as a pretty good presentation. I don't remember what the third thing I talked about was. I'm pretty sure that third thing I just put in as I got extra thing because I needed three. But it pretty well showed the issue with the first two. Oops. Uh, no, no, no. I got him. Yes. Oh, oops. Uh, can, can I? D wow. <laughs> Barely got him there. Anyways, it was actually it was actually party member. No, I think about it, but eh. Oh well. Oh, the one I I was telling you about the book thief. Oh, okay. Interesting. I mean, now that I have a reference to it, now I've got to end up seeing if there's a uh, affordable audiobook version of that. That or there's a version with pictures, that'd be nice. Hear me out. Hear me out here. Audiobooks still count as reading. I'm just reading in a different language. I know you're thinking, what language would you call that? the language that uh, deaf people use. Not deaf people, I'm an idiot. Blind people, that's the word. Blind people use auditorial. Okay, so therefore I'm just reading in the language that blind people use. <laughs> I'm still reading though.
Nice. Another scroll. Chain bomb blueprint. Nice. Which, if you don't remember, is also about a girl in party leader Jeremy. Okay. Interesting. That's good to know. I, w I was so disappointed for a second. Nah. Yeah. They use... They use Braille. Okay, yes. I am aware that Braille does exist. But, besides Braille, they just use Auditorio. I am aware that Braille does exist. And I know that... I, I am also aware that Braille books do exist as well. But that if they don't have braille books then they'll use auditorial books and most of the time they use auditorial books actually there are very very few braille books I'm pretty sure don't quote me on that but I'm pretty sure that there are, is only a small amount of braille books ooh this thing You have to see or feel in a blind person's case. You're not really... Okay. Uh, d no, no. <laughs> Seriously? I Dude, I'm multitasking game. This one. Come on. Rude. I'm multitasking game. I'm multitasking. I take it that it's not gonna like respawn or anything. Like give me another option or anything. Nope, okay. Alright. Uh dang it. I just like there we go. I'm not really reading, it's an uh, audiobook, uh, just my opinion though. So are you telling me, Lynn, are you telling me that blind people can't read? Seems kind of rude, don't you think? Brock, don't you agree? Don't you agree? That that's kind of rude of Lynn just to assume that blind people can't read? That's a joke, I swear. <laughs> I think they're just expensive, but, but I don't know. Yes, the flat Stanley Kirby. Cur Kirby, yes. I am so glad that I'm not the only one who remembers flat Stanley. Okay. Ugh, rude. My... Yeah, because I don't really enjoy audiobooks as much eh, as an actual book. I'm just not good at reading at all. I need to end up doing an audiobook or have pictures. The only two options. I don't know. I'm weird. Is it going to respawn anyways? Rude. Oh, oops. Um... Huh. Well, I don't know what it wants me to do. Weird.
Oh, I'm reaching kind of low health, okay. Good to know. Oh? Okay. I need to catch up on chat. I'm behind. They have bra. Bra? What do you mean? That's what I. Was. You both are wrong. Yeah. Oh, I never read it. I just remember the covers and pictures from inside. picture books. Exactly. But I mean, if uh, audiobooks are more your thing, go off. I uh, just uh, don't like people telling me uh, the story I, I know I can read. Yeah, that's fair. I, I can understand if you prefer reading like that. Just personally, I, just, I, I need something. Now, I'll admit, if I have the option to have an audiobook and also look at the book at the same time, that's definitely my my favorite choice. Not my favorite. Favorite besides picture books, of course. In order to be picture books, then audiobooks while also having the book in front of me, so if I can just follow along. And that would be audiobooks, then actually reading. Right, I have to actually like do that. Yeah, do people just... Oh, come on. Rude. Do people, like, spoil the book for you? That's just rude. I remember one time I spent, like, a day or two ser searching for an online version of a book because I didn't want an audiobook. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, good to know. Ooh, that actually does give me an idea. Okay. I think it's pretty clear that they just want me to have this, so give me it. Really? I forgot about that. <laughs> I don't. Why, Lynn? Just like honestly, what? Why are you just like okay with like the ending of a story? And I'll admit, the parts in the middle are like often like the most entertaining part. But still, like you don't get the satisfaction of the ending, you know? Not what I meant. Keeps me intrigued. Oh, so like, um, knowing that the big reveal or something is gonna end up happening, and like that thing that you pro that most of the time you probably want to happen is like knowing that's gonna happen, uh, makes you okay with it. And that makes sense that like you're just like waiting for that moment when it's like, yes, it's finally here.
That's what I'm assuming you mean? I don't know. <laughs> I want to know what leads uh, up to that ending. Fair enough. Eh, if there's a new character where they say something that m makes me go, oh, meh, then I want to know what that thing is. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Speaking of, Lynn, have you watched Manifest yet? I'll take that as a no. <laughs> Don't do do it for every book. And if I uh, do it, usually just just the last page. Ah. Please. Oh right, I probably can just like do it from over there. No, 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 no! Rude. Rude game. I'm kind of over you, but uh, but I need to finish you. That makes sense. I usually do it with um. I I don't do it that often, like very very rare. But if there's a movie that I'm like, okay, this sounds kind of interesting, and I've heard good things about it, but if I hadn't heard those good things, I wouldn't be interested in it at all. It's like, okay, in that specific case, you know, uh, I'll look at like a reaction video of it, and I won't get all of the information, but they'll give me a little bit of information. It's like, okay, do, does that actually sound interesting? Does that pique my interest? That reminds me, I found out that Valorant has a lore, and like, it's like really, really interesting lore. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look into that because it, it came up inside of Kesper's most recent stream, which was yesterday? The day before yesterday? I don't know. Days are weird. I can't keep track of all that stuff. It could be the Tuesday for all I know. Better not be. Not only because Tuesdays suck, but also just because it's been a long week. I don't need it to be Tuesday. Right, no, wrong button. No. Will you stop? Do you want me to get your power? No, I can't even get your power. Yeah, what are you here for then? Just to be an obstacle? A very, very annoying obstacle? Casper streamed? Yeah. Casper streamed yesterday or the day before that. Uh, was playing Valorant, played it with Apple. Wait. No. I'm crazy. I've lost my mind. It was a Mimsy stream. 
I don't know why I said Casper. I learned it from Casper in Mimsy's stream. I don't know either. I've lost my mind. <laughs> Just don't question me. <laughs> yeah, so it was a Mimsy stream. Casper was... Uh, uh, Mimsy played with Apple and Casper, and then they were all playing Valorant, and then Casper brought up the lore at some point, and then that piqued my interest. That makes a lot more sense? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Why, why don't... Why don't you like Avatar? It just... It was so boring. <laughs> like, sure, the visuals looked... Good enough. It, they were amazing for the time. Don't get me wrong. For the time of it being released, the visuals were astonishing. But nowadays, it just looks weird. And the story was just kind of boring and confusing honestly what do you mean boring it took so long for them to just reach the like main area of like oh yeah this dude's trying to like use this planet for resources and stuff and it's like oh this is the uh this is the villain of the story aren't we like three quarters through this thing and i don't know it, it just yeah. Now, I will admit that the second one does seem more interesting because the creator of Avatar and, like, this universe originally wanted to focus more on the water magic or whatever that apparently is going to be showing up inside of the sequel. So the fact that this is the original vision... Oh, dang, stream almost over. Yeah, I should probably end after this level. So, uh, I'll continue this rant, and that's I'll end the end this level and if we're gonna end the extreme because I lost track of time <laughs> this game's really fun but anyways the fact that is now the vision that the original creator wanted and liked that does pique my interest and I will watch it but it's just because uh, the fact that I didn't like the first one that much at all I'm not gonna watch it in theaters unless I'm like forced into it by my family which I doubt they will because they're not interested in either I'm not going to watch it in theaters. I'm just going to wait until it comes on to Disney Plus and then watch it. Watch the movie and then uh, I'm going to rant to you about it. <laughs> well, yeah, because it's uh, supposed to be like, like a series. Well, it didn't work. If it was supposed to be a series, make it a show. Don't make it this movie that just doesn't get the bits of the universe. It's the same thing with, um, Tropical Wood. Nice. What was it? It was like the Dark Crystal or something. I don't remember exactly what it was called. But it's got a show on Netflix recently. It has been cancelled, the, the show on Netflix. But, um, it originally started off as a movie. And the movie, to be perfectly honest, it sucked. <laughs> It was confusing and the lore made no sense because they didn't have a show and they didn't have the amount of time needed to put in all of this different information and to space out all this information into little segments. If it was a show, it would have worked. I can promise you that because then it would have actually gotten the information that you needed. The show didn't work this time, I'm sure probably because it already had prior knowledge of the movie and one, you can't watch the movie, like, anywhere. And two, just the movie just wasn't that good, of course. So people just didn't get interested in it. But if they started off with a show, I can promise you it would have worked. Rude. Weird. Rude. Rude.
screwed. I'm gonna ask my friends uh, if they uh, wanna go watch it with me, cause uh, she's also excited for it. Okay. Time. Th they were also making a third and fourth movie uh, after uh, they they finished the second. Yeah, I know. T allegedly. I'm sorry. I mean this in the nice way possible. And allegedly, they have been making them for ever. Like ever since the movie originally came out. They've been saying that they've been making like a four movie series and we just never got any information on the second one at all. We only just now got information on the second one. So in the nicest way possible, if they are making a third and fourth one, it's going to be a long while before they come out. We are going to be 80 years old and then the fourth one would finally come out. <laughs> I can understand your point, yeah. I can understand your point as well, it's just... It just feels like they had a whole deck of cards, and they just didn't play them correctly. It's like if, um... I need to find a good example. Imagine you're, you know when you're playing Uno, if you're playing with only two people, like you and another person, when you use reverse, it doesn't reverse back to the other person, no, it reverses back to you. It's like you have like all these reverses and all these skips, and then you just play a seven, even though you could have played all those things and like just went on for forever. No, instead of that, you just play a seven and now you're, you've only up, gone down one card, you know? That's the best way I can describe that. They had a whole deck. It was perfect. But uh, rude. But then they just didn't play that deck correctly. And it just did not work out for them. In my opinion. Nice, actually just like quite a bit of damage. Rude. Uh, I would t take quality over quantity. I mean, yeah, but like... I was to watch it, yeah. That's the thing though, you're not getting quality if you're taking the movie. That's the thing, the movie didn't work out and didn't give out the information that the original creator wanted. It didn't give the vision that the creator wanted. So it's like you're trading out quality and quantity. Now, if the second one was the first one, and it really was like the first one, it was uh, doing the original vision that the creator wanted, that would be an, that would be a completely different story. Because now you're actually getting quality with very little quantity. I would completely be fine with that. But when you're getting neither, I don't know. Feels like this is just one of those things where I gotta hold back for now. Ouch. Uh, I'm outside of it. Oh no! Okay, we've almost got it killed. Okay, we got it. Yep. But it also introduces really interesting thing. That's true. About the world. Yeah, think about like, like a prologue. Fair. And to be fair, it you got no ranger blue. Nice. It probably also was booted down to peg because at the point in time that I watched it, like I I sang this on TikTok that um oh no I dropped my controller. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> Caught it. That uh, I hadn't watched until after I'd watched Endgame, so it'd been a long time. And at this point in time, uh, by the point in time that I watched it for the first time, 
one, the graphics had completely gone down in my, in my opinion, like, like because other graphics have gone way up, and then it's like the main thing they had going for them just didn't work, and also no information had been given about the second movie yet, so it just become a joke in the Avatar community, like, oh yeah, this is just never gonna happen. There's never gonna be a second movie. He's just been saying it for years, but it's not actually gonna happen. Ooh, nice. F the 50 Waddle Dees. Yeah. Excuse me. You've saved. Work together to rebuild Waddle Dee liveries. Uh, uh, enter present codes to get special items. All right. Yeah, they built Kirby's house. Oh, nice. Waddle Dee Cafe. That one's actually built by 60, not 50. The cafe, help wanted. Alright. Yeah, this is the, just the town of Walla Waddle Dee's. The bomb ability can now be evolved. The needle ability can now be evolved. The ranger ability can now be evolved. This is just the town of Waddle Dee's. Wise Waddle Dee has arrived in town. He'll give you tips to find missing blueprints and a whole lot more. Alright. Um, all those different things do seem very, very interesting. But, we're gonna talk to you first. I think I'm one star. D is for anyone. Uh, I just uh, got to know all, all them when the pack arrived and started capturing everyone. Yeah. We're far from, from be best survey. So we thought a building a town would ke keep us safe. Thank goodness you came along, Kirby. Yeah. This all seems very, very interesting. I'm not gonna... Do you have more to say? The Waddle Dees worked really hard. I cannot believe they rebuilt the town so quickly. Waddle Dees uh, lives in this place as you. Did you know each other there? Huh? So that's how, how you all knew each other before you came here? I never would have, g have guessed previous games. I bet that kept, kept things interesting. I'm kind of jealous. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we are going to end up ending now, though. Oh my god, why do you have stuff to say? How do you call me Wise Waddle Dee? After I landed here, I found this mystery book. This list of locations of undiscovered blueprints. Well, clocks, high scores, and tons of other info from all over the world. If you'd like to know more, I'd be happy to share. Uh, connect online, do not use, because I don't have Nintendo Switch Online at the moment. You haven't missed any blueprints that thus far. Really? That's cool. If I read about a new blueprint location, I'll help you find it. Nice. So far, the number of times you've inhaled objects during your adventure is 79. That's interesting. Press L or R to guard and take less damage for attacking enemies. Oh, that's interesting. Would you like to hear more? Uh, not right now. I do need to end stream. Okay. Now! Yeah, we're gonna end up exploring everything next time. Okay, um... Because... I think if they did the second movie first, and then they start talking about about the war with the humans, and how some of the humans are now also aliens. Fair enough. Yeah, I guess. It's just they could have at least like hinted a little bit towards this like other world. Sorry, they did hint towards this, towards like the magic of the world. You know, this mysterious stuff that humans haven't even like witnessed before. In my opinion, it just seemed more like. It was just a different species of human. Besides the fact that they were blue, and that they spoke a different language, and had like different kinds of plants, which the plants seemed pretty similar as well. It seemed pretty much just human. Oh yeah, and also that they were taller.
They did give you Infernal I, I remember watching a whole video about it. Might have not been a, a whole lot, but it, but still, confirming that eh, they were working on it. That's true. It's just that they they confirmed it for so long. It wasn't like a decade or something. It was at very least half a decade that they were just saying like, oh yeah, we've been working on it for quite a while now, and we've made a lot of progress. And it's like, okay, you made a lot of progress. It c can we see some of that progress? No, no information. Okay, it's kind of like being a Half-Life fan. I know you don't know what that means, Lynn, but the people have been waiting for, I think, about two decades now for a Half-Life 3. They still have not made a Half-Life 3. We still have no information about Half-Life 3, and it's become a joke in the Half-Life community that Half-Life 3 will never happen. Never. No matter how many times they're saying, like, we're working on it, it will come back, come out eventually, and we'll talk about it when there's stuff to talk about. Everyone's just accepted it. It's not going to happen. Yeah. Been a, a lot, but still confirming that. They, they did. Don't you remember the whole magic tree that the thing, their hair? Oh, right. I do actually kind of remember that. But they kind of like glossed over that, didn't they? At very least, I just didn't like it. It just was like, okay, cool. Do we know why that magic exists? No? Okay, that's just a species thing then. Okay. And it didn't seem that different from just communicating. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> we, will, we will be ending stream. It, any last messages before to end this conversation? We got like three minutes. <laughs> yeah. It was a whole section on it? Really? I don't remember that. <laughs> I really don't remember that at all. Talk to you about it in the Discord. Okay. <laughs> okay. Then goodbye, Lynn. Oh, I want to raid. Yes, there. No, there's not. It's, it's, I said yes because I kind of figured people weren't live at the moment. But yeah. Uh, thank you, Lynn, for coming. I really do appreciate it. You think Fusion fell asleep? Probably. Um. Oh, there you are, Rock. Hello. Hope all. I hope all of you have a good rest of your day. Bye bye. Talk to y'all in the Discord.